Welcome to the Missouri Poetry Out Loud State Contest. I'm Laura Brewer Ackerman, and I'll be your MC for the event. I work in a Missouri high school, and like many of you, I like nothing more than being in the company of people who value what's good about young people and seek to find ways to showcase their capacities. I'm happy to be here and happy to see all of you here as well. To many people, today is just another Thursday, but each of us came here on purpose. We came on purpose, not just for a contest, but for a celebration. Today's a celebration of a purposeful decision made by an educator to present an opportunity to young people and watch that take hold. It's a celebration of a purposeful choice made by a student to study, explore, and memorize a poem, committing to performing it for us. It's a celebration of the purposeful, purposeful support and encouragement of friends and family to help develop the confidence it takes to participate in something like this. I read an article from the Atlantic Monthly online recently. It was called, Why Teaching Poetry is So Important. And interestingly, the article had a number of comments in the comments section that were debating this very importance, asking what the real pur purpose of teaching poetry could possibly be, why we need it later in life, what's its practical purpose, and how could it possibly be more important than teaching something that's more marketable. All of us should know better than to read the comments section in any article, <laughs> but I did anyway. Too many critical questions. But I think today will provide us some answers to those questions. As an educator, I've spent my career believing in the power of words, particularly words taken off a paper and brought into our hearts to be spoken and shared. On days like today, we are reminded about what's good, what's purposeful about learning and teaching in our schools. And that should be celebrated. A lot of learning happened to get us to today's event, and this is the 11th Missouri Poetry Out Loud recitation contest. The National Endowment for the Arts and the Poetry Foundation have partnered with state agencies of the United States to support the expansion of this project, encouraging the nation's young people to experience great poetry through memorization and performance. Poetry Out Loud helps students master public speaking skills, build self-confidence, and learn about their literary heritage. The Missouri Arts Council sponsors this program for us in Missouri. We are proud of the students and the teachers who participated in this project in Missouri schools. About 5,500 students in Missouri alone participated in Poetry Out Loud. And here are the top 10. I hope you'll find this day to be an example about what's good about arts education in Missouri. And I hope you'll see the purposeful work of students and teachers demonstrated for you today. I feel sure we will. Now, before we get into the real reason of us being here, I'm going to ask you to double and triple check that you have silenced any electronic devices that you might have with you today that could be distracting to the audience and particularly the performers. You don't have to worry about taking pictures in today's event. We have an official photographer here and a videographer. Photos will be provided to students on a disc and the entire contents of today's contest will be provided on a YouTube link for you after the contest. I'm happy today to invite Nola Ruth, the chair of the Missouri Arts Council, to the podium for a few remarks. Good morning. I want to welcome everyone here. And first I'd like to congratulate the competitors for what you've achieved so far. It is really heartening to see young people take so much interest and work so hard to accomplish what you've accomplished so far. And now it's just the beginning. And the work that everyone has put in, the schools, the parents, a lot of effort has gone into this. And I gotta tell you that I think that if anything is worth it, young people are worth it. So thank you all and above all, enjoy yourselves today.
Now I'd like to introduce Malia Franklin from the Missouri Department of Elementary and Secondary Education. She is the Director of English Language Arts. Good morning, honored guests. I am honored, truly, to offer up a welcome from the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education. As winter melts into spring, it signals many wonders, budding trees, the return of the proud robin puffing his chest, and the Poetry Out Loud state competition. <laughs> I really truly anticipate all indications of the approaching season equally, as all represent warmth and progress, either just by marking time or illustrating learning. I'd be remiss if I didn't thank the governor's, or the, excuse me, Missouri's First Lady, Mrs. George Ann Nixon, our state Poetry Out Loud organizers, teachers, administrators, and parents, without whose effort today would not only be impossible, but it would be far less enjoyable. Unfortunately, I have work sitting on my desk awaiting my return, and I believe it was Chaucer who said, time and tide wait for no man, and I guess that department work is included in that. So I'm sorry I won't be able to stay and hear your recitations. However, I know where to find them on YouTube. So I will, and I was reading your poetry beforehand, and it seems like spring is a theme that many of you like as well. I'll look forward to hearing and watching your recitations, recitations later. So thank you for letting me share even this little portion of the Poetry Out Loud experience with you. And best wishes truly to you all. Thank you. You know you're in the company of someone who understands the purpose of poetry when the title Poet Laureate for the state of Missouri is attached to his or her name, and that person is here today. Let me tell you a little about him. Professor Trowbridge is a distinguished university professor emeritus at Northwest Missouri State University and the author of more than 400 published or forthcoming poems. He's published 10 collections of poems, and his work has been reprinted in more than 30 analogies and textbooks. He also has a new collection coming out next year. He serves on the faculty of the University of Nebraska Lowe Residency MFA program in writing. He has a chat book that's coming out at the end of this month called Old Guy Superhero. It's my pleasure to welcome Missouri's Poet Laureate, Dr. William Trowbridge. Well, thank you. And, uh... It's such a pleasure to be here um, um, among young people enthused about poetry who, who, in fact, have learned it by heart, which is, isn't that a wonderful expression, better than memorizing it? They've learned it by heart, and it goes to the heart, and it stays to the heart when you do that. So uh, I'm sure you've all found that, and I hope you will spread the word as you uh, go out into the world. I've been uh, asked to read a poem um, uh, for this occasion, and I thought it would, um, uh, probably it would be appropriate for me to read the poem I was asked to write uh, when I was appointed Poet Laureate. They wanted me to write a Missouri poem. And I thought, oh dear, at first, because uh, I've read such awful state poems from uh, various things. Oh, rolling rivers, oh, high peaks, and all that. Oh, oh brother. Uh, so, so that's why this is called Unofficial Missouri Poem. You won't find 76 trombones in this poem. That was Iowa. <laughs> Nor orations about rolling rivers or salutes to emerald pastures, stately peaks, or glittering skylines that we've got our share of each. Not to mention 34 kinds of plastic worm in the world's biggest bait shop. Or the train where Pretty Boy and Company shot it out with the law. Or towns like Cooter, Roach, Enough, Licking, Tightwad, and Frankenstein, along with peculiar, so-called because the state said the name had to be that or unique. And the grave of Harry, who fired MacArthur because I wasn't gonna let that SOB resign on me. And the license plate with a bluebird you have to tailgate to see. And whether they can wash your house into the next county or sing it to sleep on a soft May night and where the rock, state rock is something called Mozartite. And bathtubs with feet resembling animal paws are against the law. And where 15,000 souls throng annually to the town of Nixa for sucker day to eat their fill of that tasty bottom feeder. 
and where the immortal satchel page first bamboozled batters with the hesitation pitch. It's the birthplace of Mark Twain, Jesse James and the coward Robert Ford, Chuck Berry, Tennessee Williams, Charlie Parker, Josephine Baker, Joseph Pulitzer, Omar Bradley, Bell Starr, T.S. Eliot, Calamity Jane, Willie the Rat Camasano, and J.C. Penney. Add to all that the world's largest pecan. The big shoe made entirely of shoes. <laughs> the cooking from scratch chicken car. The world's smallest cathedral. The Bonnie and Clyde ambush apartment. The world's largest concrete soccer ball. The Jesse James feather duster of death. The Walt Disney dreaming tree and barn. The grave of Pete Kimmy's foot. The home of throwed rolls. The world's largest fork. The dental health theater. A giant concrete turtle park. The world's largest chigger. Cowboy muffler man. The world's largest ball of string, not twine. <laughs> and the nuclear waste adventure trail and museum. If you think you've found a place that can pluck more tunes on your inner banjo, show me. <laughs> Thank you very much to those of you who are here to support this event. We are now one step closer to the contest and you'll be consulting your program today, I know, to see the names of the students and their schools who are competing. Our school communities and the young people in our state grew a bit more this year because of Poetry Out Loud. We may not be able to measure that on a standardized test, and frankly, I don't think we should have to. But I am convinced that it makes our schools and our communities a better place and makes us better thinkers. I have no doubt these students could advocate for that. The students here today are the regional champ champions among the Missouri schools that conducted Poetry Out Loud contests. There are impressive prizes and awards that I'll discuss later in the contest. At this point, you need to know that these 10 people advanced in the competition to become Missouri's 10 regional champions. One of the contestants here today will be the 2016 Missouri champion. We'll talk quickly about what's going to happen in today's competition. Each contestant will recite three poems. The poems are from the official Poetry Out Loud anthology, and students will introduce each poem and the title and the poet before beginning the recitation of the piece. The competition is in three rounds, with all students performing the first poem, all students performing the second poem, then we'll have a short break, all students will pre perform the third poem that they have selected, and then we'll have another short break to tabulate results and announce our winners. <laughs> 